The next step is to see uh, if anybody has drawn and to see who's won. So the first thing we're going to do is see if um, the player and the computer have drawn. Now the player and computer will draw if they've both got the same thing. So for example, if computer has selected rock and the player has selected rock, there will be a draw. If the computer selected rock and the player selected paper, then obviously it would be not. It wouldn't be a draw. So essentially, what we're trying to do is see if player is the same as computer, if they both have the exact same text. And that's very easily done in Small Basic. What we'll do is start off with an if statement. We then say if player. Now remember, player stores the actual um, uh, choice that the play has made, okay, and it's stored in the variable somewhere in memory. Is equal to computing computer. And if you remember, this is uh, this variable here is where we're storing the choice of the uh, computer. So we have our random number. It will then uh, put some text into computer based on uh, the number. So if they're the same, then I simply want to say uh, text window dot right line it was a draw and then end if okay I can then uh, give this a go this might take a few goes compute selected rock we need it so they both select the same thing there we go I selected paper the computer selected paper and you can see it printed out it was a draw if I've run it one last time that was draw again I want to show that it's not a draw Let's draw again paper and here you go you see that I selected paper the computer selected scissors um, they're not the same so nothing was printed out the if statement doesn't run if the condition here is not true. So what we're saying is if player equals computer, we want to say it's a draw. Otherwise, we don't. Okay, this, and this is basically the logic uh, for testing draw.